Dear students, now we are going to see the synthesis of propranolol. First, we will see the structure of propranolol. It is having the parent one as propanol. That is, hydroxy group is attached in second position. That's why it is 2-propanol or propentoal. And first carbon is connected with isopropyl amino group. And the third carbon is connected with the naphthalene and with oxygen. That is, naphthyl oxy. So, what is the chemical name? So, here first question is connected with this. That's why 1 isopropyl amino, 3 naphthyl oxy, 2 propanol. So, that is the chemical name. So, it is a, it is having propanol and that is connected with amino. So, it is a propanol amine derivative and it is a non-selective beta blocker. It is used in the treatment of hypertension, angina, arrhythmia and hyperthyroidism. Now we will see the synthesis of propranolol. For the synthesis, we have taken the parent as 1 naphthol. So here hydroxy group is attached to the first position. That is why it is called as 1 naphthol or alpha naphthol and that is treated with epichlorhydrin. So by the addition of these two here, that H combines with this Cl and removed as HCl. So that is why the left group is attached with the oxygen and we are getting this intermediate. Now with this we have added isopropyl amine. So, isopropyl group with amine, so isopropyl amine. By the addition of isopropyl amine, the bond between the carbon and oxygen, no, so that would be cleaved. And with the oxygen, H should be added. And with the CH2, the left group, that is NH, CH, CH3 twice would be added. And we are getting propranolol. So, how we are getting propranolol? That is, one naphthol is treated with epichlorhydrin. HCl is removed. Left group would be added here. Now, with this, we have added isopropyl amine and we are getting propranolol. So, that is all about the synthesis of propranolol.